The Seiko Prospects Arnie Reference SNJ025 is one of three modern reissues of the Seiko Prospects Diver Reference H558-5000 from the early 1980s that soared in popularity courtesy of now iconic 80s films like A View to Kill, Predator, and Commando. Though the latter pair's leading star Arnold Schwarzenegger catapulted the diver into true cult status by adorning the matte black unit on the wrist during hyper-stylized action pack sequences. It's been synonymous with the perception of rugged utility ever since, with the H558 and SNJ025 references colloquially referred to now as simply the Arnie. Just a few years ago in 2019, Seiko modernized the original and much-loved 1982 hybrid diver's watch reference H558-5009 by integrating solar quartz internals while keeping the overall silhouette firmly planted in the 80s retrofuturistic zeitgeist. So let's dive in with this hands-on review of the 2019 Seiko Prospects Arnie SNJ025. At the time, we'd hazard a guess that few experts tapped into the watch space could have predicted a $500 oversized diver with an all-plastic case shroud and a quartz-powered movement would eventually occupy the same lists as a Rolex Submariner or an Omega Seamaster, as the H558 and the new SNJ025 do now, decades past. But much like great films, great watches achieve cold status for a wide variety of different and largely subjective reasons. The allure of the Seiko Prospects SNJ025 is no different and encapsulates an era in filmmaking known for fast-paced action and a markedly retro-futuristic aesthetic. With the 2019 Seiko Arnie, this sentiment truly shines through with a quick glance at the analog digital interface that feels almost like a prediction of where technology may be headed as pop culture began to ponder what the 21st century may have had in store. Beginning with the case, we mentioned oversized in the SNJ025's introduction and at 47.8mm, the Arnie has relatively substantial wrist presence for most wearers if assessing case diameter alone. Seiko decided to size up the SNJ025 revamp by about 2mm from the original at 46mm. Though overall, with a 14.4mm thickness, a 51mm lug-to-lug, -lug, and an 112 ounce total weight, the 2019 Arnie largely stays true to the 80s blueprint. The high-polished stainless steel lugs only protrude from the shroud a few millimeters, which allows the lug-to-lug -to, -lug to stay well proportioned to the overall case diameter. What may wear large at pushing 50 millimeters in diameter with normal length lugs, the Arnie actually wears as something in the low to mid 40s on the wrist. Visually, the black plastic outer shroud and the protruding and highly polished stainless steel pushers, crown, and lugs render the style of the Arnie with a near robotic futuristic air, and we're glad Seiko decided to stay true to the 80 styling with the SNJ025, a huge factor no doubt in the watch's lingering appeal. With 200 meters of water resistance up from the H558's 150 meters, aided by the push-pull digital adjustment crown, screw-down push buttons, and a unidirectional 120-click rotating bezel, the SNJ025 affords generous utility to back up its style-heavy leaning, akin to modest specs expected of a diver. As a last note regarding the Arnie's case, the outer shroud provides ergonomic notches at 1 o'clock and 7 o'clock to aid with the rotation of the rotating bezel, which is a well thought through feature for quick timing applications that carry through from the original reference. Under Seiko's own hardlex, the dial character of the Prospect's Arnie SNJ025 is a recognizable design full of depth. The lightly textured grey-black dial, the short hands, indices, and seconds hand counterbalance featuring plenty of Lumabrite, the sloping 24-hour chapter ring, and the topmost digital readout render the SNJ025 as a near-carbon copy of the original. One of the only notable visible deviations is the text above the 6 o'clock to note the addition of the solder-powered quartz movement, and the 200-meter water resistance rating text set in a bright orange finish over the H558's light yellow 150 meters. A key motive behind the SNJ025's release was to infuse the H558 with modern tech, and the byproduct is a much loved digital readout now backed up by a solar powered quartz movement, which, as you'll quickly find, improves the overall utility of what's already a really rugged unit. Operating is as simple as using the 10 o'clock and the 8 o'clock pushers in tandem to adjust the readout's time zones, battery level, alarm, stopwatch, and backlight functions. The SNJ025 has a wide range of time zones to choose from can display the day of the week and the day of the month, has a programmable alarm, and a stopwatch with timing capabilities of up to 100 hours. And if the environment necessitates, the topmost pusher activates a bright blue backlight similar to the blue-green light built into the fully digital calibers like the Casio G-Shock line. To set the time, select the function with the 8 o'clock pusher and use the digital adjustment crown to cycle through the hour and the minutes by spinning clockwise or counterclockwise. After confirming with a quick push, the analog hour and minute hands automatically and rapidly rotate into place, syncing the analog interface with the programmed digital readout. Although a very quirky feature, admittedly, it screams robot-like autonomy that gives the watch's operation a really neat appeal, unlike any other diver currently offered. 
The original Seiko H558 diver featured a now standard quartz caliber, a movement introduced to the horological world by none other than Seiko in the late 60s with the Astron. As the SMJ025 doubled down on utility, the new Arnie kept the quartz tech while providing the infrastructure for solar charging. As the SMJ025 doubled down on utility, the Seiko Caliber H851 solar quartz maintains an accuracy of plus or minus 15 seconds per month and a whopping 6 month power reserve after a full charge. As a tool-esque diver with a modest price point, keeping a similar quartz-powered low-cost caliber mirroring the original makes complete sense even for a $500 price tag. The combination of a lengthy reserve, an analog digital interface for easy legibility, and a near impervious case that protects the internals against water, pressure, and shocks all make the Seiko Prospects Arni SNJ025 a true workhorse alongside its iconic styling. The SNJ025 ships with a 22mm default black silicone diver style strap secured with stainless steel buckle hardware in a brushed finish that contrasts nicely against the high polished elements of the inner case. It conforms to the wrist in an effortlessly comfortable manner right out of the box, with a rubbery feel that bakes in a bit of stretch to accommodate any slight changes in wrist size throughout the day. Like its original movie star wearer with a larger wrist size, the 2019 Arnie's dimensions render best on an average to large size wrist. Our wear here with a wrist measuring just a hair shy of 8 inches. Also, since the lugs don't extend a great deal past the outer shroud, we maintain that the Arni could still potentially be a decent pick for smaller wrist dimensions as well, though the silicon strap is a bit longer than what you'd expect on an average diver to ship with. A good indication that Seiko aligned the default configuration for a larger wrist size. Since the lug width is pretty standard at 22mm, finding a replacement should be straightforward if it becomes an issue. Moving past the technical specifications, when assessing the value of the Seiko Prospects Arni SNJ025 by weighing its strengths and weaknesses, it's first important to understand that the original 1980s H558 Seiko Prospects Diver was a trailblazer in its own right upon its release in 1982, years before its first star-studded debut. Not only did Seiko pioneer quartz-powered watchmaking, which is something that we now take for granted and largely look down upon as inferior or as the cheaper option, this inevitably led to the creation of this diver. The H558 was the very first dive watch to feature a digital display of any kind that could track several functions at once, and it was the first to also feature a digital analog interface that worked in tandem. Its aided summit seekers on Everest occupied the wrists of explorers to both the North and the South Poles, and has served as great utilitarian de facto tools for members of the military. This is to say that the Seiko Prospects Arni, old and new, serves up practical utility outside the allure of its pop culture fame. The latest edition's modern integrations only further cementing the use case. We love the symbiosis between the analog and the digital readout, the way the analog hands snap into place after confirming the digital adjustment. We also appreciate the plastic shroud notches at 1 o'clock and 7 o'clock to aid in turning the unidirectional timing bezel. On the other hand, its few critics may question the relatively higher price point for low-end materials, namely the plastic case or the decision to use Seiko's own less costly hard legs. The price point is, however, more of a 50-50 split between the improved internals and the watch's overall reputation and demand, with the older H558 becoming increasingly difficult to find in good condition for a reasonable sum. If you're looking for a rugged toolish diver with a cool factor hard to ignore, backed up by iconic cinema history, the Seiko Prospects Arnie SNJ025 is a true statement piece sure to spark many conversations.